swell. Yeah. He's Alan Brell. He's so swell. Alan Brell, Alan Brell. You know, he's so swell. Alan Brell, Alan Brell. And his name. Alan Brell, Alan Brell. Listening to Alan Prowl on WLMD, the talk of the capital. Something else happened to me on a very hot summer night in Lincoln, Nebraska, and I had my dark room downstairs, and it was very, very quiet. And it was like 11 or 12 o'clock at night, and it was extremely hot, extremely humid, and very quiet. I knew that my folks, when they go to bed, like it's bonkers. Boy, you, you know, they're, they're, they're dead asleep. Well, it was getting like 11, 12 o'clock, and I was working down there in my dark room, and all of a sudden, I heard someone upstairs on the first floor. And I said, hey, Mom, uh, Dad, is that you? And uh, there, was, there was no answer. And I heard it again, you know. I said, hey, Mom or Dad, that's you? And then I heard this little voice, and, and, and I said, what are you saying down there? They're up on the second floor. I'm down in the basement. I said, well, there's somebody in the living room. And they said, well, we're upstairs. And I said, well, there's somebody in the living room. And, and, and my dad said, well, and my mother was talking to me first. So now my dad, uh, what? Uh, and I said, there's somebody in the living room. And then I said, I got this baseball bat, and I'm coming up those steps, and you come down the steps, and I know you got a gun, and we're going to beat the hell out of this guy. That's what we did. This is where yelling and screaming from one floor to the other. Well, so I grab my baseball bat, you know, and I start tromping up the steps, you know, as loud as I can. I say, here I come, you rotten son of a gun. I'm going to beat your head in. And my dad's he's tromping down the steps. He says, I got this gun, and if I find you down there, I'm going to kill you. Yelling and screaming. We both met upstairs, and, we, and, and there was my dad. He had no gun. We didn't have a gun. I had my baseball bat, and we felt like total and complete fools because we were looking at one another there was no one else in the house but my mother had left the side door open and because it was so hot and so humid and there was so it was just a screen door and we had we had neighbors that were about maybe 15 feet away all their lights were on next door and the woman was peering out the door, and obviously what had happened was that, and the screen door was locked too, by the way, so there was no way that somebody was in the living room or anywhere upstairs, that we had heard the people, or I had heard the people next door, because it was extremely quiet, very humid, and sound was just carrying like everything, and they probably thought we were the weirdest bunch of people on the entire earth because we were yelling at the top of our lungs every filthy word you could think of threatening to kill somebody up in our living room and they had no concept of what we were talking about I was always too embarrassed we didn't even go out that side door for two weeks figuring that we were gonna have to give some explanation they probably thought we were gonna kill each other up in the living room and I was pounding my way up <laughs> with a baseball bat and my dad was coming down the steps with a gun and we were gonna meet in the living room you know it was gunfight at El Diablo at one o'clock in the morning so that's that's what can happen see but if you yell and screams I, I really believe you can you can you can terrify anybody Oh, Martha, I just can't take another day of this terrible itching and pain of sitting here listening to the radio. What you need is Preparation Prell. Yes, doctor-tested Preparation Prell will relieve the painful itching and inflammation which comes from mind shrink. Preparation Prell has provided temporary relief to thousands of sufferers of mind shrink. Apply Preparation Prell to your mind every day between 1 and 5 by listening to WLMD Radio 9, the talk of the capital. Oh, I feel so much better now. Hallelujah! Seven, seven. 
seven 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 one two seven nine two. That's right, they're a bunch of grooves. Yeah, they're really good. They're all good dudes. Better than, better than most other parts of the uh, nation and other parts of the country. And uh, anybody else is somehow a Neanderthal. Neanderthal, Neanderthal a, a troglodyte. Neanderthal, a caveman. Right. Yeah, that's right, That's right, Alan, because you see, you can walk down the street in the, in the nighttime as well as the daytime in Washington, and everything is really lovey-dovey. That's right, lovey-dovey. Greatest thing that ever hit the, the district. It's beautiful. You can walk down there and you don't get hit in the head, you know, in Washington. That's at night. right. That's right. They don't hit you in the head. You no, know, get knocked in and raped and killed. I've never been raped yet. Hey, that's right. That's right. I don't think you go down there often. And especially uh, especially in the daytime, you don't even get hit in the head. That's right. That's right. No, Alan, guess what? They're building a great big hole in the ground. You know, this wonderful thing they call Metro. It's Metro, the big hole in the ground. You see, they can't protect the people now in the daytime and nighttime above the ground. Now they're going to build a big hole in the ground, in, uh, and it'll be completed in a couple of years, and the people can go down there and be... Uh, and be safe down there, in the big hole in the ground. Be safe. <laughs> That's great, huh? <laughs> but, uh, no, no, uh, what do you think of this, huh? Huh? What do you think of all this? Huh? What do you think of it? Huh? What do you think of it? Not much. Not much, huh? Nope. Thinking, thinking makes my head hurt. Yeah, well, don't think too. I try and avoid it. Yeah, but you see, the, you see, you see you're kind of crazy, Alan. You, you talk this crazy stuff here, and you're talking about... I bet you just as well be a bunch of, uh, bunch of orangutan as a baboons and then the being down in the, in the district. And you're saying it's the most... It's a disgrace. The Washington, D.C., as a nation's capital, a disgrace for the whole world, especially with... What we need to do is stop all that killing and raping down there. Yeah, something's wrong, Alan, and you're saying how wonderful it is. It's the greatest place on earth. The intellectual, right? Huh? Uh, right. Yeah. Intellectual, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. They know more than anybody else uh, in the nation, right? Huh? They know more than anybody else in the nation, right? Right. Is that right? Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye. Alan Brown, you're so swell. Alan Brown, you're so swell. Alan Brown, you're so keen. Right, 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 Fauntroy guy. If you tip him on his back porch and see if you don't get shot, you know this people tell you that junk. Right. If you pass that law, they're still going to. Right. They're still going to have it. People going to have a gun. I couldn't agree more. But, but you see, uh, they're trying to get the gun away from people. Uh, sure, I got a gun, but but I I, I wouldn't. Get, I, I, why did I go buy the one? Didn't turn that one in because these folks are here rob anybody. You need something in your house. I couldn't agree with you more, sir. Well, I thought you said that you didn't. I thought you said you didn't want that. Did oh, you? what the hell! I changed my attitudes. I, I changed my opinion. Well, you think you're gonna have one? Huh? You got one, ain't you? I'm gonna. If anybody walks in my house, I'll blow them apart. Well, I hear you talk about you fool. I'm gonna get a howitzer. You have a nice fellow, Mr. Fool, but I mean, I don't think I wouldn't. do no way agree with that thing dropping gun because see, these crooks. You convinced me. I didn't know that ain't nobody got no gun. They ain't got nothing to walk right in and take you. Right. Okay, you ain't got no gun. You're right, sir. You're right. Let's hear it. Yes, sir. You're right. Absolutely. I couldn't agree with you more, sir. You put the whole issue succinctly right in my mind. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's a guy that I really 
just turn me 180 degrees, just like that. Thanks.